I'll uh, limit myself to two questions. First, I just don't see the unmet medical need for these girls because the father is HIV positive, the mother is HIV negative, you already do sperm washing, and thus you already could generate uninfected embryos that could give rise to uninfected babies. So could you first uh, describe what is the unmet medical need, not of HIV in general, which I think we all appreciate, but what is the unmet me medical need for these patients in particular? And second, um, you justify the critical decision of implanting these embryos to generate a human pregnancy with the decision made by the patients as opposed to made by the scientists and the doctors and the ethicists. Can you also comment on uh, what is our responsibility as scientists and doctors and uh, independent communities to make that decision for the patients rather than allowing patients to make critical decisions uh, like that uh, uh, seemingly on their own. Thank you very much. Okay, so the first uh, guess whether CCL5 is a med uh, medical need. So, <clears throat> okay, uh, I truly believe that uh, it's, this is not only just for this case, but for but millions of uh, these HEU children, they need this uh, protection since the HIV vaccine is not available. And uh, I have personal experience with uh, some people in the some AIDS village where 30% of village were, uh, people were infected. They have even have to give their children to their relatives or uncles to raise just to prevent potential transmission. And also for this specific case, I feel it's a, I feel proud actually. I feel proudest because uh, the mark thought it's, he lost the hope for the life. But when the baby was born and with his protection, he sent a message at the day of birth, say, I will work hard, earn money, and uh, take care of his two daughters and his wife for his second half life. So.